I'm Christina Thonis, and um, I like to knit and crochet and make things. When I was a teenager, my grandma uh, taught me to knit. I didn't really stick with it at all, but she did show me the basics. And then when I was out of college, for some reason I decided I wanted to take it up again. I think I had an old knitting book from the 50s that had like the basic instructions. So I kind of just retaught myself. I mostly have learned from YouTube videos and books, um, things like that. I like making things that, um, as gifts for people, partly because they're just like always really impressed. So I guess I'm kind of showing off a little. I like making small things. I like making socks and scarves and mittens uh, because a small thing I can finish. Uh, when I first started, the reason I started with socks was I knew if I tried making something big like a sweater or a blanket that I would quit in the middle and then never carry on. So I, I wanted to make small things and that's what I usually do. My grandma had these um, hot pads that are crocheted and I like them a lot um, and they're starting to get a little bit worn and I thought that that would be fairly simple to reverse engineer so I bought some I'm gonna have a very colorful chicken and partly I'm choosing this little project because the last thing I made was the sweater vest which was very um, well I started in January and just finished in April so it took me a while and it was um, really challenging. My husband signed me up for a class, a knitting class for my birthday. And uh, so I thought in this situation, I'll have help. And so if I'm going to bother going to a class, I should do something that kind of stretches me and, and goes a little farther than I normally would do. This has a fair aisle where you use more than one color to make the pattern. And it also involved knitting it in a tube and then having to sew down the middle and cut what I had knit, which when you've been working on something for months already, you really don't want to cut it but I did. Um, so this was a big challenge, but I'm really happy with how it turned out because it fits and it looks nice and it's very soft and warm. I love stories. I'm also a librarian and um, so I love stories and uh, when I have a favorite story going on, then I like to make things from that story. And I also love games, so I like to make things from games. So I, uh, I used to play World of Warcraft and they were doing a special um, celebration of the the Molten Core raid. As part of the celebration, they were uh, giving away a digital Molten Corgi, so I thought it'd be cool to make one. Plus, we have a Corgi ourselves, so um, I am fond of Corgis. So, inspired by the game, I made this little guy, and inspired by our dog. Uh, one thing that I always do when I knit is I have to have something to watch or listen to. So a lot of times I'll watch TV shows or movies. And lately I have been watching a, um, a streaming video series of these voice actors playing Dungeons and Dragons. And I had also just recently learned how to do corner to corner crochet, which is where you make something out of a lot of little boxes. So you can do kind of pixel art. And so I made this pillow with the characters from the Dungeons and Dragons game. I also love Pokemon Go. Um, so I have made a couple of Pokemon. I've made a, a Pikachu and a Meryl that are both big, like life-size. I, I tried to figure out like in the game it says how big they are usually and so I tried to actually crochet things that were that big. My kid was super into a web comic and one of the, um, the items in it was the Warhammer of Zillyhoo! how expensive it would be to buy all that wool, but um, made a crazy cool Warhammer of Zillyhoo. I have a lot of pictures of my projects. I try really hard to make, uh, take pictures of what I make, um, and I post them on Ravelry. Ravelry is an amazing website for knitters and crocheters, and I think there's also people who like spin their own yarn and stuff there. Um, and they can share the projects that they've made, they can share patterns, you can find patterns, you can see, like, one thing that's really cool about it is someone will post a pattern for a hat, and then anybody who makes a project from that can post their project, and so you can see 56 different versions of the same hat in different colors and yarns, and it's a great website, so I love to post there, and my 
username there is Stonehen. So if you search that on Ravelry, then you can see all the projects I've made.